Number 29, suppose a gangster sprays Superman's chest with 3 grams bullets at the rate of 100 bullets per minute and the speed of each bullet is 500 meters per second. Suppose too that the bullets rebound straight back with no change in speed. What is the magnitude of the average force on Superman's chest? So let's say this is our Superman over here. So how do you know it is Superman? Because he has a cape, okay, so that's Superman. So let's analyze just the movement of one bullet. Let's say that to the right is our positive X direction. So the bullet is going to the left and the initial velocity of this bullet is minus 500 meters per second because it's going the negative direction of the X axis. Okay, so the bullet goes towards the chest of Superman, it rebounds and it acquires a final velocity of plus 500 meters per second. So this is what's happening with one bullet. Okay, so we have to analyze the problem for several bullets, 100 bullets per minute. And we want to know the average force on Superman's chest. So this question over here, this problem over here is about impulse. And we have two main equations to work with impulse. The first one is the, the difference in the momentum, but we can also find the impulse through the average force times the time it took for the force to be applied. So those are the two equations that we have. This first e equation over here, the change in the momentum, it, you, you can write it as mass times the change in the velocity. So that's the same thing. The momentum is mass times the velocity. Okay, so we do have the velocities and we do have the mass of each bullet, right? Because the mass of each bullet is 3 grams. So the mass of each bullet is 3 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms. Because it's grams, right? That's why we have minus 3, 10 to the minus 3. So we can use this first equation over here to find the impulse. And then we throw the, the value of the impulse here. And we can try to find the average force. That's our strategy here. So let's use the first equations first. So the moment the impulse is equal to mass times the change in the velocity, which is equal to mass times the final velocity minus the initial one. So the impulse is equal to mass. What is the mass? Three times ten to the minus three. The final velocity is 500 and the initial one is minus 500. Okay, so this is equal to just 3, right? That, that's right, I guess it is 3. 3, uh, yeah, that's, that's right, 3. 3 newton second. So that's the impulse, okay? The impulse is 3 newton second per bullet. The, don't forget that. Okay, so now that we have, that we analyze one bullet, so let's analyze what happens is in one minute. Okay, so let's analyze what happened in one minute. In one minute, we have a hundred bullets. So if we have a hundred bullets, then we have a hundred times the impulse of one bullet, right? So the impulse, let's say this is the impulse for one bullet. So the to the the, the, uh, the uh, hundred bullets impulse, or uh, in a one minute, the impulse would be equal to a hundred times three, which is equal to three hundred newton second. So in one minute, I have uh, an an impulse of three hundred newton second. And now I can use it, this value over here in this equation over there because the impulse in one minute is equal to the average force times one minute, right? One minute, which is equal to 60 seconds. So the average force is equal to the impulse over delta T and this would be equal to 300 over 60 and this gives us 5 newtons that's the average force on superman's chest it's 
kind of tricky, but it's not that difficult, this problem over here.